Greetings to everyone. This is your host Ash Khan and you are watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel. In today's bulletin, Pak US Business Council Chief congratulated USA President Iftikhar Ali Malik, founder president of Pak US Business Council, president of Sark Chamber of Commerce and Industry, chairman United Business Group has congratulated Joe Biden on assuming the office in White House and hope will get accesses to the US market at zero rated duty being old and trusted ally he said that under Biden's rule Pakistan would be provided with zero rated free market access to US markets and compensation for losses incurred in the context of the war on terror. Iftikhar Ali Malik said that the products manufactured in Pakistan are very good in terms of quality and there is a huge potential for their consumption in the US markets. Businesses to operate seven days a week allowed by Sindh government. The government of Sindh has announced that all markets, shopping malls and other businesses across the province may operate seven days a week in a bid to provide relief to the business community. According to a notification issued by Sindh Home Department, shopping malls may remain open throughout the week, subject to strict adherence to the ongoing pandemic standard operating procedures. This does not apply to hotspot areas where only essential businesses are to operate, the notification highlighted. According to the Twitter account of spokesperson for the provincial government, Murtaza Wahab, this is to inform you that markets in Sindh will remain open till 8 p.m. It is again expected from the market associations, shop owners and citizens that due regard to SOPs shall be observed and everyone including the shopkeepers and visitors shall wear a mask. Punjab Police launches Karobar Atmad application. Karobar Atmad app has been launched by the Punjab Police to help people trace criminal records attached to the computerized national identity cards of their employees and tenants in order to make informed decisions about keeping them. As per the law, whenever a citizen hires an employee or domestic help or keeps a tenant, they are bound to register them with the police so that the police have information about the people residing and working in an area. The new application enables employers and landlords to register their employees and tenants with ease in addition to allowing the tracing of their criminal records by entering the CNIC number of a person into the application results in the rapid displaying of information about their criminal record. The employer will be further informed about the criminal record via SMS, after which the police will follow it up with necessary action. The mobile application will soon be available on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For now, citizens can download it from the official website of the Punjab Police. Shops and Stores Sealed in Lahore the Lahore District Administration has sealed 81 shops, stores and restaurants in the provincial capital in a crackdown against violators of COVID-19 standard operating procedures. As per the details released by the administration on Saturday, the Assistant Commissioner Model Town sealed six shops in Shadman area, while the Assistant Commissioner Shalimar sealed 42 shops and stores in his jurisdiction area and also imposed fines worth Rs 49,000 for failing to implement the SOPs. Moreover, the Assistant Commissioner City sealed 19 shops and restaurants and the Assistant Commissioner Cantonment sealed 14 shops and restaurants and imposed fines worth Rs 15,000. Among the areas, shops and restaurants that were sealed in are Tehsil Model Town, Tehsil City and Tehsil Cantonment. Mudassariyas District Commissioner Lahore said that the operations will continue to ensure implementation of the SOPs and those who do not comply with the SOPs will be sealed. Fake Rumors of ATM Cash Withdrawal Limit On Saturday, the State Bank of Pakistan said that it has not issued any directive regarding the ATM Cash Withdrawal Limit and termed these reports as fake. 
In a statement on Twitter, the SBP said it categorically rejects the false message making rounds on social media attributing to it that ATM cash withdrawal limit is restricted to rupees 1000 SBP does not put any limit on ATM withdrawal limit banks decide about such limits it added the central bank issued the clarification after social media users claimed that they are receiving messages from their banks that the cash withdrawal has been restricted by the SBP Thank you for watching Consumer Pakistan News Channel. This is I, Ashkan. See you in the next bulletin. Until then, take care and goodbye.